You use fucking bicycles. And the bicycles are these piece of shit, black bicycles. They used to have a system. Well, they still have a system in Amsterdam. And they have these city bikes. And you can ride the bikes from one area to the other. And the system worked okay, except when you rode your fucking bike somewhere. Because they were free and shit, somebody would fucking take your bike and ride it somewhere and you'd be fucking stuck. So now all the bikes have locks on them and shit, and everybody locks up their bikes. And you ride these pieces of shit, broom to motherfucking bicycles all around the city. So that's how you get around. So my daily job was going around and getting shit. <clears throat> so um, I used this piece of shit bike to ride around on these cobblestone streets in, in Holland. Because I'm a fucking dude, I had a dude on a car one morning, man. And I, the only reason I don't fucking, and I found out later, like, I could have owned that car, and he had to pay me like $100,000 because he ran a stop sign, and they do not do this shit in Holland. But I was on the fucking run from the fucking feds and fucking, uh, and from and Florida warrants. So I didn't want to fucking write my name anywhere, so I just got up, lipped off and shit. But you cannot fucking violate the, law, the, the road laws over there. You hit a fucking pedestrian, you are toast. I didn't know that till later. So I'm out getting, like, screws from the screw store. Uh, yeah, over bullshit fucking bridges. Thank you. Over shitty bridges and fucking trolley tracks that'll make you bust your fucking ass. You get your wheel stuck in one of those fucking trolley tracks, you were going down, motherfucker. You got an evil Knievel over those motherfuckers, right? And this ain't like a fucking uh, BMX bike or some shit like I rode like I was a kid. Or even a decent bike. No, you could get a hop on it. It's a piece of shit, man. It's made out of like steel or iron or lead or some shit. It weighs like 80 fucking pounds. So you got to bunny hop that motherfucker over the track, you know. And if you miss, you get that back tire in that track. Biff, man, you're fucking going down like a fucking heartbeat. So, um, so I'm riding this piece of shit around getting his stuff. His screws from the fucking screw store. And I, I forget what I had to go get some other shit. And, and then I had to go get something from across the fucking street. So uh, I I was tired of, the, you have to lock the fucking bike up. It takes like 30 fucking minutes to lock a fucking bike up over there. So you fucking lock up the bike. Because if you don't lock up the tire. So anyway, I was just trying to run inside and get this one thing. And man, fuck you, dude. And fucking wind over those crackheads or whatever they have over in Amsterdam. Do not leave your shit unattended for 30 fucking seconds. Like, I thought I could walk inside and buy some paint. Was it paint? Some shit like that. I was like, I need some fucking paint. Boom! I was like, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. But, so, I went and got Gypsy's bike. I walked back to the place and got Gypsy's bike. Well, this is the part of the story that I left out. So, all that part of the story is really fucking funny, right? So, um... So I didn't, let's, let's, let's look at this, the other side that people don't think about when I tell this story, okay? I didn't have a home, and I was on run from fucking the States. I mean, my country had abandoned me. And I lived with this fucking wig dude, man. He was strange as fuck. Upstairs in his fucking big old ass house, the fucking Anne Frank Chandelier was in it. It was kind of spooky and haunted, to be honest with you. And I worked for this dumbass. I rode a bicycle around and got him wine and shit and rode around and did Dubois errands for him. It was a decent job. I made good money and I lived in one of the best places in the whole world. But, you know, technically it was, you know, I was homeless, you know, and shit. I was working a fucking week to week job. So, um, um, fucking, uh, so I'm in the fucking, like, I got lost on his bicycle and it started raining. And I mean, it, so Amsterdam looks like a butthole. Okay, in the center of the butthole is where the queen's butt plug goes. Okay, I was 27, 28 years old. So then the, the streets go around the, the butthole in a concentric circle like this. This is a really good explanation. I've never done it before, the butthole theory. And then the streets go across the butthole like butthole lines. That's a really good explanation of fucking Amsterdam, just so you know, like... The best explanation of Amsterdam I've ever had in my life. So you can walk in fucking circles, and if you're stoned, you do, you fucking get fucked up. But once you learn the place, you walk across the butthole. Okay, so you can walk around the butthole. Wow, this is a, such a good analogy. So you can walk around the butthole, okay? And you can get lost as a motherfucker, right? Like, or you can walk across. Like, it's pretty fast. You know, you can, like, you can go from the Don Cream to the rokery, like in like three minutes, even if you don't walk the fuck around and shit like that, you know? 
When it's raining, it sucks assholes. You can't see shit. Start walking around. Anyway, so when you get on the outside of the house, <laughs> there's, there's less lines, okay? And so it's harder to navigate. By the way, the lines are fucking bridges across the fucking dikes. And because the water goes fucking everywhere. So there's a water analogy going on with this asshole thing, okay? So when you get to the outer parts of the asshole, okay, you are in the middle of the motherfucking nowhere. Yes, and the street names are Achengluber Flappin' Flapper and fucking Itchny Poppin' Fuckin' Flapper. That's the names of the streets, right? You were lost as a motherfucker, right? So I was lost as a motherfucker, okay? <laughs> so I'm riding around in the outskirts of the asshole. And I'm lost as shit. And, man, that's good. I was laughing when it comes to this part because I need it. <sighs> so it was raining and cold and shit. I had this stupid black Mary Poppins coat on so I wouldn't get fucking rained on. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been sadder in my life. Then recently after my house burned down because I just felt utterly alone and the Dutch people are so utterly different than us. They're strange. Um, the street names are Hosen, Flopper, Upper, Skipping or some shit like that. And, you know, just fucking eat. You just have no fucking clue where you're at. Everybody speaks English in Amsterdam and that's what they will tell you. But they speak it with a heavy accent and they speak it with disdain after you've been there just a little while. People don't like Americans and shit like that, so that's basically my analogy of Amsterdam. So when I got back is when Gypsy gave me, that's when he sent the cops for me when I was fucking, or he said he was going to send the cops for me. When I got back, he's all pissed off because I was out on his bike and I was lost in the outer rim of the asshole. And I hope some fucking body recorded that. Hey, where did the fucking videos go when you record them on YouTube? Like, when you record a video here, when I hit save, when it's over, where does it go? <laughs> That's a great analogy. The asshole, wrinkle, fucking Amsterdam story. That is fucking good. Man. <laughs> That's the best analogy I've ever heard. I need someone to love me the whole Well, you need to, somebody needs to transcribe them because the audio don't do me no good. Somebody needs to transcribe all the shit. You're welcome, God. Then Gypsy's right. You stole me bike. No, I didn't steal your bike, fuckhead. I was lost on your fucking bike while I was trying to go get your fucking whatever the fuck I was trying to go get for you. What the fuck just happened? No, fuck you. But you stole me, boy. I was in jail on 